FDA. Baba! Do you understand who you are? Yes, Baba. Then stop being afraid of anybody that tried to encroach on you. Secret to life is to have no fear. It was Malcolm that told us that. Reparation isn't a question. We're going to get it because we're going to take it. But it's your method. And so it's a legal question in the world. But how many people in here ever had a job or got a business? Raise your hand. You do it to get paid, right? So if somebody works your ass for 400 years and don't pay you, don't they owe you? Hell yeah. I mean, think of it now. Somebody worked you for 400 years. Don't they owe you? And don't that come with back pay? Don't that come with interest? Yes. Isn't that yours? Yes. See, some people try to make us feel bad for asking. Some of our own, too, yes. for reparations. This isn't a question of asking anybody for anything. We're telling somebody, you forced me to render a service you didn't pay for. In the process, you murdered nearly 50 million of my kind. Mm, mm, mm. You owe me. I'm not asking you for anything. Dr. Asa Hilliard said, and I want to get this one straight, because I know a lot of us have been speaking on identity. If you don't get identity straight, you don't have a case. Okay? So foundation, I'm an African-American, that's not a contradiction. But I'm also a foundational black American. That's not a contradiction. You understand? If someone is from Ghana and he migrates here, he's not a foundational black American. But I want you to hold up because I heard some stuff I didn't like. That's still your family, he just got another case. Many, I've had cases. I've been in that precinct, I've been in that jail cell, and I know how you get a case. People have different cases. America committed a crime against people all over the world, and they got cases, but they don't have our case. We got a particular case. But I want you to be clear, I'm not giving up Africa. Now, if some of y'all want to give up the richest piece of real estate on earth, do it. But I'm not doing it, and I'm not going to advise you to do it. That's yours. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a nation here called the United States of America that we built. We didn't just build it with labor. We built it with our intellect. We built it with our science. We built it with our technology. We built it with our spirituality. And we're still doing it. And we want it back. Let me tell you a little secret. People play games on your mind and it make you think you're weak and then when you think you're weak, you take a certain posture when it's time to fight. When you break down the ethnic groups in America, the largest ethnic group according to their tallies is the Germans. The second largest ethnic group is the, let me get it right, the foundational black Americans. Now I want you to understand this because I'm going to show you something. The foundation of black Americans, according to the stats done by this criminal enterprise called the government, right, is second only to the German in population size in America. But the big lie is we're the only people whose immigrant population, whether they're making mistakes or not, we'll deal with that before I'm finished, is not counted as their population. Italians is counted as Italians, no matter when they got here. Greeks are counted as Greeks, no matter when they got here. Chinese is counted as Chinese, no matter when they got here. But they don't do that for foundation of black Americans. If they did that, the African Latino, who is not even treated kindly by the white Latino, is still counted as white folks and isolated from us, if we just took the African Latino into the family, we'd be the largest ethnic group in America. I'm trying to tell you something now, how you get played out of pocket 
and then you're fighting out of the wrong pocket. The foundation of black America is the largest population in America. And when you talk about ethnic population wealth, you are the first or second wealthiest ethnic population in America. But if you don't get clear on your identity, you don't know how to take your riches and turn your riches into wealth. Because all the criminals that make up this government, the black ones, the white ones, and the brown ones, that have not voted for our reparations, we should use the mechanism of how you get to get in office to get the criminals out of office. But we don't know how to use all the tools at our hands. So not the secret about voting, voting is a tool. It's not an addiction. It's not a disease. It is a tool when you live in a capitalist society that uses electoral processes to pick your leaders. Now, if you're going to sit back and let somebody else use that tool, you're going to lose the game. If you want to win the game, you better take control of every tool mechanism you got. But the first one is your identity. Power is the ability to define your reality, and that includes your identity, and everyone else in it respect your decision on how you define yourself as foundation of black America. So me, I'm not gonna say I'm not an African American because Africa is my race, America is a geopolitical place. But foundation of black American is an ethnic statement. Yeah. It talks about a population mm. for the last 400 years that have been under duress in the United States of America and we come from all over Africa and we formed our own ethnic nation. And you have to know how to identify your ethnic nation if you're going to be able to fight for them. Yes, my brother from Nigeria, he got a case against Britain and he's probably got a case against America, but not the same case we got. All right? Now, I'm not going to argue with him. That's my brother. I'm going to fight for my case and ask for his assistance. And then when he fights for his case, I'm going to give him my assistance. That's right. Because this war is a race war and it has been a race war for the last 3,000 years. The last 3,000 years you have been in a race war. This population, the foundation of black America, for 400 years we have taken on the mightiest white empire ever built on earth. And we have defeated them multiple times hey. at the game. You understand? So when we tell them we're coming to the table to get our reparations, we're coming to the table not to ask him for our reparations. We are going to define methodologies for taking our reparations. Because it isn't just a conversation. It isn't just us being here talking today. Every one of you have to engage with Foundation of Black American and organizing the mechanism necessary to take our reparations. And understand, reparations is the pretty name about the, for the money they owe us, okay? We can throw that word out. We're gonna take the money they owe us. Back in the 60s, we called it reclamation. We robbed a bank here and a store here and a few things. And some of us did get away. Some went to jail, some of us did get away. We call it reclamation. Don't incriminate yourself, brother. So we have to reclaim what is ours. And we have to be clear. Don't be ashamed of your identity. You're a foundation of black American, and you're also African. Africa is not a place. That is our ancestral, historical, spiritual center. When we came before Columbus, we came from Africa. Facts. When we came with the Mali Empire, we came from Africa. Facts. When we came on the slave ship, we Boy. came from Africa. Then all of us married together. I'm Native American, Chakora tribe, and African. I came on the ships with the Malians before Columbus, and I'm still African. And I'm here still talking here. to you. I'm from South Carolina, the Gullah Geechee culture, Chakora Nation. Right? I'm, I'm straight up foundation of black America. Because I got all the elements but I'm not gonna give nobody Africa. But guess what? America is as much mine as Africa is. I bought this, I bought this, I paid blood for this, I paid labor for this, and I want to control this. 
and we are going to control this. Don't be afraid. White people across the planet is at minus birth rate. Not zero birth rate. They're at minus birth rate, meaning they cannot have enough babies to keep up with the natural death process. So that's what the LGBT thing is about. That's what, let me, uh, no disrespect of a brother or sister in that, they got to deal with that. That's what they got to deal with. But I got to deal with the politics of it, okay? That's what that whole thing of intermarriage, you saw how the intermarriage thing has souped up? That's what that's, that's about. That's all you see Somebody now. Supplant your gene into their gene, hoping that they could survive. But they're not going to survive. But most of us here will not live to see their death. But we know their death is going to come. But what we can do is make sure we make the case for reparations now. And like that dude was talking about segregation, we want reparations now. We want reparations tomorrow. We want reparations forever because we're going to take the whole damn country. Yeah. It's ours, okay? So we just want to be clear. Don't give up being an African. That's yours too. I want that gold and that diamond. I'm not about to give that to nobody. Facts. I want the platinum and the tungsten and the colton. I want, that's mine. I'm not giving that up. But I want this too. Hey. I want this because I built it. I want this because I raised it up. I want this because if you look at all the major inventions in this country, we did it, not them. They took it, but we made it. We invented that light bulb, not them. We invented the cell phone, not them. We invented the computer, not them. And you can go on and on and on. Take our technology out, they die. That's a part of your reparations. They stole all your patents. They stole all your technology. They even stole your hip-hop rap music, made trillions of dollars of it, and when somebody stand up like Kanye, they try to shut them down. Talk and so I spoke up it. for Kanye a couple of weeks ago and tell them, I'm not going to let them shut him down. And you shouldn't let them shut him down. Foundation of Black America, be proud of your identity. All of your identity. If I went to Africa, I would meet a Yoruba man. And he would be a Yoruba man. And proud of that. He would be a Nigerian and proud of that. Right. He would be from Benin State and proud of that. And he'd be an African and proud of that. So don't let nobody limit your identity. You're an African. You're an African-American. You're a foundation of black American. And you are some more stuff. Own your identity. Shackle yourself to your identity. And then make your case for reparations, 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 reparations. Hey. Man. Peace and blessings.